Motherwell win in the hand in sunshine was the last time they got the better of United in this competition. They'll have to be doing a better performance, a good performance today to knock the holders out this time. Certainly better than last week's at Inverness, that's for sure. United are in form, they've only lost twice in 18 to Celtic and at Hearts, but they were unlucky to lose late on. Penalty and injury time as well was missed, that cost them a point. Craig Conway passed a fitness test, and Danny Swanson will play just off David Goodwillie up front. Motherwell have already made one semi-final this season, they lost it to Rangers in the League Cup. They haven't reached the last four in this competition for eight years. Captain Stephen Cragen makes a welcome return to their defence. The midfield is without the suspended Steve Jennings. Craig Conway there, who scored, of course, twice in the Scottish Cup final last season. David Goodwill, he was the other scorer for United. That memorable opening goal against Ross County at Hampden Park. And what a day the Tangerines had. John Sutton got bowed in the win over Celtic a couple of weeks ago. They were brought back down to earth by Inverness Caledonian Thistle in the Highland Capital last weekend. It's a third game in six days for Dundee United. They moved above Motherwell in the SPL with their win over Ackies on Thursday. They beat Aberdeen on Monday. It's the latest in a line of big games for the Tanadice men as they look to retain their trophy. But it's Motherwell on the front foot here with Murphy. Douglas did just enough. The first corner of the game goes to the Steelmen. Good start from them. An early test for the United defence then. Stevie Hamill, that cultured left foot of his, will put in the in-swinging corner here. And it comes from Hamill. Sutton climbs and Mother will have scored in the first minute. Would you believe the style they've made? And it is John Sutton. The match winner against Celtic two weeks ago scores one of the earliest goals the Scottish couple have seen. Pernish couldn't keep it out and Motherwell have the initiative. Well, it was so simple. Well, that's what will disappoint Peter Houston. Sutton rose above the United defence. And what a start they made. My mother will seem to blow hot and cold. Fantastic one week. And then not so good the next. They went from beating Celtic to losing heavily in Inverness. Well, that's come straight to Goodwillie. Will he get this on the right foot? Will he get space? He does. Goodwillie! Good save by Randolph. Oh, Goodwill, he's so often the hero for Dundee United this season. He just needed that little bit of space, worked it for himself. Tried to go across Randolph. Goalkeeper kept an eye on it. It's a good hand. Swanson. Boabint, a great touch there from Conway. Boabint saved by Randolph. Well, it's promising from Dundee United. Lovely deft touch from Conway. Set up the opportunity for Boabin. That's what United are all about. Stuart McCall, Stuart Kerr just behind them. The Motherwell goalkeeping coach must be absolutely delighted with the start their team have made. Sutton chests it back to Lasley. That's a terrific save from Pernis. Threw up the right arm to deny Lasley. They got a good hit onto that. Swanson. having most of the possession. Motherwell are playing a counter-attacking game. Prince Boabin! That was a fizzer. That's a couple of times Prince Boabin's threatened from midfield today. 
He's a yard or two wide on that occasion. And Randolph would have been relieved to see it fly by his right hand post. Into Jeffers. Got back at Francis Jeffers. Well, what a good game we have at Tannadice. That's gone from one end to the other again. Sutton to Jeffers. He was a bit fortunate the way it came back to him. He did well to get Curl in this as well as Power. He's giving that straight to Danny Swanson now. Motherwell with a backtracking to do. Swanson looking for Good Willie. Swanson has it back, goes down. Play on, says the referee. Good Willie. Still Good Willie goes down. Referee's having a look at it. United trying to play on. They're claiming they should have had a penalty there as well. The challenge came from Saunders as well. An interesting one. Swanson. Falling up against Gunnett. Watson's ball in. Away by Cregan. Still the tangerines come at Motherwell. Conway keeps it alive, there's no foul on Gunning. Good for Oh, it's gone in! And David Goodwillie levels things up at Tannadice. What a finish it was! The power he generated in it as well. Matched the spectacular nature of the bicycle kick. He tried one of these against Aberdeen on Monday night. He was denied by the woodwork that time. And Randolph just couldn't keep it out. Well, you have to say the pressure's been building. And David Goodwillie, who's rescued Dundee United time and again this season, does so in spectacular fashion here. The cup holder's defence is still alive. by Robertson on Stevie Hamill. Jeffers. He's done well to hold it up. Lastly! Pernish pushes it away. That's a similar area to where Lasley scored against Rangers in the semi-final of the Cooperative Insurance Cup. Jeffers did so well. Lasley had to hit it first time. Now Douglas. Hutchinson clearing. Clavin. Good Willie. United corner. John Daly isn't there. But he's about to come on, and he'll come on for Craig Conway. He won't take the corner kick, and he will be replaced by Daly, who will provide an aerial threat from this corner kick. He scored the winner against Hamilton here on Thursday night. And on he comes. Barry Douglas takes over corner kick duties here. Daly! Almost immediate impact. That would have been some entrance. And he was free. Free as a bird. Couldn't find the target though. Something leaves that to Stephen Hamill. Lasley. Hamill again. Lasley again. He didn't think that was coming back to him. Hamill to Jeffers. doing a bit of pressing that's good play Gunning oh and that could easily have gone into his own net from Dixon in the end 
it's a good clearance, snuffed out the danger. Oh, Pernis was a little bit nervous as he saw this come off his number three. First Scottish Cup meeting between these two in more than 10 years, February 2001. Dundee United won 2-0 at Fair Park. Stevie Hamill and Keith Lasley were both in the Motherwell team that day. And here is Lasley. With Ian Hamill in their second spells at Fair Park. Gunning. And Hamill. Lasley trying to return it to Hamill. Does just start. What a goal that is for Motherwell! And it's Sutton again! And is that the goal that sends Motherwell into the semi finals of the Scottish Cup? It's a terrific move! And it's the poacher Sutton again! He gets the plaudits, but this is a wonderful piece of play between Hamill and Lasley to set it up the 1 2. And it's worked a treat for them. Sutton in the right place at the right time. And Pernis beating all ends up there. Nothing he could do. Sutton second. Motherwell second. And the Steelmen are 2 1 up. Now United need to produce the late show again, though they do have still around 17 minutes of this quarter-final to go, they're looking for immediate retaliation, Swanson across, it's Daly! And United are level within a minute! It's the sub, John Daly again! And Dundee United sensationally hit back! And John Daly doesn't miss chances like that, he eats them up! It's 2-2! Daly enjoyed that as well he might oh we're back where we started Sutton to Jeffers Lastly did well you know, Hamill played together for so long they've got an understanding Hamill to Hately this is Stephen Saunders, he's not going to have a crack from there, is he? He scored against the Bernie earlier in the season. Not from that kind of range, I don't think. Humphrey space on the right. Always the goalkeepers. Gavin Gunning's on the deck here, but United are going to play on. Callum Murray, the referee, hasn't seen it, or he's not stopping play. So once it goes down, he's obstructed there, right on the 18 yard line. Not given. This was Danny Swanson's run forward. He was checked by Cregan. Down to the last 10 seconds. And that will surely be it. And Stuart McCall, arms folded. He's going to have to watch his team take on Dundee United again. It's another fixture and a fixture pile up for Peter Houston and Dundee United. They'll have to do it all over again at Fir Park. And if it's like this, we'll all be quite happy with that. It finishes here at Tannadice. Dundee United 2, Motherwell 2.